Hi there, we're looking at the quotient rule for differentiating functions where there's a quotient involved, or a fraction. This is part of core three, if you're following the Edexcel specification, um, obviously otherwise you obviously have come to this video because you're studying it. So we've got two functions we're going to have a look at. The first one is obviously a fraction, the second one you need to have a good under a basic understanding of trigonometry to realise that that's a fraction as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, apply the uh, quotient rule. Now in a previous video on the product rule you will have seen this. Many of the textbooks will do u dv by dx plus v du by dx. Uh, the reason I tend to do this this way around is that I always put v first and therefore I remember my quotient rule because this one's got to be a negative term. So that's just an important um, thing that helps me remember which way around to put things. So as you can see, we're going to need our u and our v. And in this particular situation, it's very important that the functions that you use the quotient rule for should be of the form u over v. So u is the numerator, v is the denominator. Uh, and that matters. So for this one here, we're going to let u equal our numerator and we're going to let v be our denominator in our quotient. Um, we're going to need to find du by dx and we're going to need to find dv by dx. So du by dx will be 3, dv by dx will be 12x squared and then we have to put all those bits back together to find dy by dx. So we've got v times the derivative of u and that's um, then u times the derivative of v and then that's all divided by v squared. Now inevitably you can do a little bit of tidying up with these things um, and it depends on what you need to do with it. But that is the process of using the quotient rule. Now we're going to have a look at y equals tan x. The reason I've chosen this for a quotient rule question is that tan x it can be written as sine x over cos x. So if we're going to differentiate this, our u is going to be sine x and our v is going to be cos x, always numerator, denominator. If we ca calculate find out du by dx, the derivative of sine is cos, and dv by dx, the derivative of cos, is minus sine. Right then, let's put that all together in our quotient rule, dy by dx equals. So we have v times the derivative of u, so cos x times cos x is cos squared, minus um, u times the derivative of v, so that's sine times sine, and negative, uh, we're taking away a negative term, and that's all divided by v squared. So as you can see, cos squared x plus sine squared x is 1, and that's over cos x and if you know your uh, reciprocal functions then we can spot that that is sec squared x. So the derivative of tan is sec squared and that's going to be quite important to you through the course of core 3 and core 4 if you're doing Edexcel 
obviously as you progress in your calculus and trigonometry at this kind of level. So there's our quotient rule. U has to be your numerator, V has to be your denominator, and then you can apply it into this formula here. Best of luck.